All right, quiet on the set. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Robert Jones for Installer Parts. Today, we're going to show you how to install the Installer Parts TV ceiling mount that fits 23 to 42 inch flat panel displays. For this install, you will need a power drill, a 3 16 inch or 4.5 millimeter drill bit, a metric socket wrench, blue tape, a tape measure, a Phillips screwdriver, medium or large, a flathead screwdriver, medium or large, a pencil, a level, and a stud finder is very helpful. Open the box and inspect all the products, ensuring that everything is there. Make sure to find the instructions. Determine the approximate location of where you want the TV mount to hang. Be sure to check that there are no electrical or water lines in the area. Okay, you guys, we're here in the corner. We've already marked where our stud is in the ceiling. You want to make sure that there's no electrical or water or anything else like that that you could possibly hit going through this beam. You may need to go into the attic of your house or whatever other situation you have. Also remember to determine if the cables are going to come through the ceiling, if they're going to be in front or behind, and you may want to do that ahead of time. For us, we already know where it is, and we've got our ceiling plate here. There are four holes here. There are two large and two small. We're not going to be using the small ones because this is for masonry or brick. We're just going to be using the large holes. So go ahead and place them on the ceiling, and then mark with a pencil where you're going to put your holes. We're then going to drill the pilot holes for the bolts to go into the beam. We've used a piece of blue tape to mark our drill bit depth on here, approximately 55 centimeters or 2.2 inches. All right, you guys, we've got our plate here, we've got our bolt, and we've got our pilot holes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put the bolt up into the stud, and then we're going to put the plate on afterwards. If you see, there's a small cutout here. This allows you to put the bolts into the stud first, get it pretty snug, and then slide the plate on, turn it, and then tighten up the bolts. So let's get the bolts in now. Okay, you guys, we've got our bolts in. We've got them snugged almost down to where they need to be. The threads are already into the stud all the way. Now we're going to take our plate and slide it on here and adjust it into the slot. And now we're gonna tighten up. We'll do one side and then the other. That's nice and tight. And now we'll do this side. All right, you guys, the bolt is in, it's turned into the slot, it's been tightened down, and you can see here, it's nice and tight. Okay, you guys, we have our collar here. It has a split in it, that's okay, that's what it's there for. And you're gonna put this with the lip facing up, put the crack in the back, and line up the holes. Then we're gonna take our pole with the flute hole, we're gonna put the flute hole towards the back, line up the holes and slide it on. Then using one of the black screws, bolts, put it through the hole here, the hole here, and then put on the nut. Okay, if you're like me, I don't have two wrenches, I only have one. You can hold this side with a pair of pliers and then tighten down the nut on this side. And it only needs to be snug. So there we go. Nice and snug, hanging down. Okay, you guys, our pole is in place. We're going to put the decorative dish on, but before we do that, let's go ahead and erase our magic lines. Keep our ceiling nice and clean. Before we put our dish on. Just brush off our eraser. Look how nice and clean that is. We'll get to the other ones later. Okay, we have our decorative dish here. 
This is going to fit over the plate. As you can see here, there are some pins, and these plastic pins fit into the holes that are in the ceiling plate. So just slide it up the pole, and then find the pinholes, and boom! Magic! All right, you guys, I took off the other pencil marks, cleaned it up, and as you can see, it looks very professional. Okay, you guys, we have the second piece of pipe that we're going to install into the first one that's already installed into the ceiling. We want to make sure that our bracket, this metal piece here, is going to be facing out because that's what the TV is going to be installed to. The next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to take this collar that's split, and the reason it's split is because there's a small fluted end here and we want to be able to fit it over that. So snap it over there. You'll see it doesn't slip off. Then we're gonna put it into the pipe, line up the holes of the collar, push this up. Now, since this is going to have two bolts through it, now would be a really great time to fish your cables through the top hole and out the bottom hole. Because once we put these bolts in, it's gonna be difficult to be able to get those cables through there. All right, you guys, we've got our holes lined up. We're just gonna slide our bolt through Theoretically, there we go. Bolt is in. Then we're just going to place one of the nuts on. I don't have to tighten it yet. And then we're going to slide the other one through. And put the other nut on. Now you can see it's there. It's still loose, but it's in. Again, I only have simple tools today. I'm using a pair of pliers just to hold the back of the nut. Be careful not to scratch your pole. And then I'm using a socket wrench. I'm just going to tighten this up slightly. And boom, the second pole is installed. Now remember, this inner pole has lots of different hole settings, so this may not be the right height for your TV, you can let it out as long or as short as you want. Today I have this on the shortest setting because our ceiling is not that high. Next it is time to assemble the TV mount swivel head. Feeding the locking screw from the front side, slide it through the rubber gasket, the small metal U-shaped frame. Then add the flat washer and the locking washer. Cinch the whole thing down with a knob screw. There is no need to make it very tight yet. We will do this once the TV is attached. This is slightly different than the paper instructions, but I think you will find it easier overall. Mount the swivel head onto the TV using the right size screws for the back of your TV. Check the depth of the screw holes. You may need to use provided spacers in order to get them into a snug fit. Be sure the screw and the plate on all four corners are down tight. Okay, you guys, now you get to make some choices. So you have two options here. You can follow the instructions which say to mount the TV mount to the bar and then mount the TV to that, or you can do it like I'm doing it here, which is to put the mount on the back of the television and then we just have one kingpin to install to the bar. So let's do that now. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a washer over the screw and it's the one with the square hole which is gonna mount the square hole at the top of the bar. So you can see we've got the pin in, we then have a washer to go on the bottom, and we also have a nut. Okay guys, we just slid the bolt in from the top with a washer, slid it through, put another washer and another nut. This is a great time to have a friend help you. Now we're going to use the socket wrench and tighten this bolt with the nut. Okay you guys, our TV is set, we have the right tilt for our viewing, we've got the right turn for the room, now we're just going to tighten down the bolt in the back. Tightening the bolt. Alright, our TV is installed. Let's get a different angle. Okay you guys, our TV is installed here. You can see the flange at the top of your ceiling looks nice and professional. It looks clean and shiny. Uh, the pole is adjusted. The TV is at the right angle for viewing pleasure. I think it looks very professional and so can yours. All right you guys, selfie! 
All right, you guys, you should be good to go. Just to recap, we inventoried the items in the box and gathered all the supplies we needed for the installation. We found the studs and marked the ceiling. Then we placed our mounting plate and made sure it was level. We marked where the bolts were going to go and then pre-drilled the pilot holes. Then we attached our mounting plate. We assembled the top pieces of the pole and attached it to the ceiling mount plate with a bolt. Continuing down the pole, we added the plastic collar and slid in the two poles together, one inside the other. We secured them with the double bolts and fished the wires down through them. Pre-assembling the tilting mechanism for the back of the TV plate, we then continued on. We figured out which screws we needed for the back of our TV. We mounted the TV plate ensuring that it was secure. Then we married the TV to the pole and slid the kingpin in, securing it. Then we tightened the swivel kingpin from before. All in all, this project should only take you between 30 and 45 minutes. All right, you guys, I hope you found this informative. Should you have further questions, you can always refer to the manual, which is in the box. Now remember, we did this to a ceiling with wood joists today, and if you're doing it with brick or masonry of some kind, there are further instructions on here how to do that. Be sure to check out our other products on Installer Parts as well. Whether it's from the server room or the dorm room, or maybe your bedroom or living room, we're here to help you out at Installer Parts. I'm Robert Jones for Installer Parts. Subscribe more, more videos, dancing videos. Come on back and subscribe. This YouTube channel can only get better.